Hello, dear learners. I am Ranjit Aare, lecturer, Gita Devi Khandelwani Swa Pharmacy, Akola. I am going to discuss about the buffer. Here, my email ID and contact numbers are given. If you have any kind of queries, you can contact with me on my given mobile number or on my email ID. So the learning objectives of these topics are at the end of this video or the topic you are able to describe buffers and their types. You are able to explain the mechanism of buffer. So first of all we discuss about the definition of a buffer. So buffers are the solution or the system that resists a sudden change in pH upon the addition of small quantity of acid and bases. Generally, the buffers are composed of weak acid and its salt or weak base and its salt. So, here we was talk that the buffers are the solution or the system that raises a sudden change in pH upon the addition of small quantity of acid or bases. Yes, absolutely it raises the sudden change in pH, but it can resist at a certain limit, at a certain limit that is called as the buffer capacity. And this buffer capacity can be calculated by using the henderson hasselbalch equation. And the buffer capacity is uh, the capacity how much moles of an acid or the bases required to be added to 1 liter of the buffer to change in pH by 1 unit. Yes, that is the buffer capacity. And buffer solution is the solution whose pH is almost, almost remain constant even when a few drops of an acid or the base are added to it. And the property of a solution to resist and change in pH is called as the buffer action. So in this way, for the preparation of the buffer solution, we have to add the weak acid and its conjugate base or the weak base and its conjugate acid. So now we will discuss about the types of buffers. There are three types of buffers. Acidic buffer. Acidic buffer is composed of acidic acid and the sodium acetate. Basic buffer. Basic buffer is composed of ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride. Here in acidic buffer, the acidic acid is the weak acid and sodium acetate is the uh, strong conjugate base of acid. And in basic buffer, Ammonium hydroxide is a weak base and ammonium chloride is its salt or you can say strong conjugate acid of base. And third is the neutral buffer and neutral buffer is composed of salt of weak acid and salt of weak base. And the example of this neutral buffer is ammonium acids, acetate. So now we will going to discuss about the mechanism of buffer and this is very important. And here we are going to discuss about the acidic buffer. So acidic buffer is generally composed of weak acid and its salt. The weak acid is acidic acid and its salt is sodium acetate or you can say the strong conjugate base of acid. So here acidic acid is dissociate into CH3COH that is the acetate ion and the hydrogen ion and this weak acid is not completely dissociated and strong conjugate base of acid is completely dissociated because this is the salt. So here see the mechanism how it raises the sudden change in pH. If we add a small quantity of hydrochloric acid in the acidic buffer system generally or normally after the addition of hydrochloric acid the pH of solution must have to decrease or it may be decrease 
but if we add this hydrochloric acid in a buffer solution then it raises the sudden change in ph how that will see here see uh, hydrochloric acid is combines with the acetated ion and form acetic acid resulting no change in ph and if we add small quantity of sodium hydroxide this is the strong alkali in a, our acidic acidic buffer then hydroxide ion is responsible for its alkalinity or the uh, alkality then hydroxide ion is also responsible to increase the ph of solution but if we add in acidic buffer this hydroxide ion is combines with the hydrogen ion and form a water molecule this is again neutral resulting no change in ph so in this way acidic buffer resist sudden change in ph upon the addition of small quantity of acid or bases now we'll discuss about the basic buffer and its mechanism basic buffers are generally composed of weak base that is ammonium hydroxide and its salt that is ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide is get dissociated in, into the ammonium ion and the hydroxide ion and ammonium chloride ion is dissociated into the ammonium ion and the chloride ion ammonium hydroxide is a weak base so it not dissociate completely and ammonium chloride is salt and that ammonium chloride dissociate completely in the solution so again this basic buffer system as shown into the uh, in, as shown into the diagram uh, this uh, basic buffer is composed in which if we add a small quantity of hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid is dissociated into the hydrogen ion and chloride ion in which the hydrogen ion is responsible to decrease the ph or to make a solution acidic but if we add small quantity of buffer small quantity of hydrochloric acid into the basic buffer it raises the sudden change in ph how that will see hydrochloric acid uh, produces the hydrogen ion this is responsible for the acidity and this hydrogen ion is combines with the hydroxide ion and form a water molecule and this is neutral in nature so in this way it raises the sudden change in ph and if we add strong alkali like a sodium hydroxide in a, a small concentration then it dissociate into the sodium ion and hydroxide ion from which the hydroxide ion is combines with the ammonium ion, ion and form a ammonium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide is present in our system so resulting no change in ph so in this way upon the addition of small quantity of acid or bases in a basic buffer system it raises the sudden change in ph but if we add if we add these acids or bases above the limit or above the buffer capacity then the change in ph is occurs so here is the summary is given learners hope now you are able to describe the buffers and their types and explain the mechanism of buffer and i also like to thank to the uh, government polytechnic jalgao team department of pharmacy for guiding us in this for the preparation of these videos and also i like to thank you for patience listening thank you thank you so much